PDT is short for photodynamic therapy, which is a way that we at Southern Dermatology try to get rid of actinic keratoses or precancerous lesions. It's done so by using a, a photosensitizing agent called aminolevulonic acid, which is applied to the body part that's being treated. And then after a short incubation time, the light is applied to that area and over time it exfoliates those lesions and so we don't have to worry about those precancerous lesions turning into skin cancer down the road. So mainly PDT is used to treat actinic keratoses which are the precancerous lesions. However, it can be used for acne uh, and there is a slight skin rejuvenation component to the procedure. We don't hang our hat on that too much. Uh, but there is that after the procedure. So with photodynamic therapy, basically the patient will come in, their skin is prepped with uh, a cleanser using HipaCleanse or Technicare and a slight acetone scrub in order to degrease the area that's being treated. The patient then will have the amino levulonic acid applied and afterwards the incubation period begins, meaning just sitting around for a certain period of time. Different body parts require different incubation times. For example, the face usually requires about an hour, scalp, hour and a half, chest, two hours, and extremities, three to four hours. After that short incubation time, the patient will come back to the light room. They will be adjusted appropriately in the seat and the, the treatment itself basically lasts 16 minutes and 40 seconds, no matter what body part is basically being treated. After that time frame, the patient will be washed off and a sunblock actually with zinc and titanium would be applied for them to use for the rest of the day. The next 48 hours is really critical for the patient not to have any additional sun exposure as that will enhance their experience. Actinic keratoses can be treated several different ways. The most common way is something called cryotherapy or liquid nitrogen. That's the most common way. The risk with that involves possible scarring with either hyper or hypopigmentation, uh, and you're only able to get individual lesions. The great thing about photodynamic therapy, or PDT, is uh, that it can cover a wide range of area and with no scarring or no pigmentation issues. The effectiveness of all three treatments is around 90 to 95 percent, so it's important for the patients to come back and be assessed regularly to make sure that these lesions are being treated before they could possibly turn into a skin cancer.